Carl, uh, just wasn't your day, obviously. A loss the first time since January the 7th, but obviously the premiership now goes to Melbourne City, so that's one trophy out of the way. What are your feelings right now? I look, yeah, um, a little bit, I suppose a little bit disappointed in that we um, didn't get something from tonight. Um, you know, the boys um, in that second half did everything possible, um, but we just couldn't score. Um, you know, they defended um, their line well. They were desperate with their defensive line. Um, had a lot of numbers back there, um, but just wouldn't fall in for us. Um, but, you know, the effort the boys put in was was excellent. Um, that intensity in that second half was, was very good. Um, you know, it was something that we, you know, I suppose we'll go away and have a look at and, and see where we could have maybe improved a little bit in the first half. I noticed Zach Clough had to come off maybe, I don't know what for, they said ankle on, on Paramount, but you rearranged your formation, put John Yole there. So, and then in the end, even uh, you had Barnett coming off in the second half. Is that is that becoming an issue now? Because you've got so many, obviously, injuries from previous months, one day long term and stuff like that. No, we, we've, still, we've got a fairly good squad available still. Um, you know, um, Zach just felt his calf um, tighten up. Um, so he's come off before it does any too much damage. Hopefully it's only a minor um, thing. And, and Jay's, um, you know, since he's been here has has been trying to get his fitness level up um, and he's just struggling a little bit um, so his hamstring tightened up we're not sure if he's done any damage or it's just a like cramp like sensation we're not sure and um, but we've got you know plenty of um, players in the squad you, you know you saw Johnny Yell come on tonight and he, I thought he was outstanding um, so you know there's opportunities there for the for the our playing group just the Lopez coming off, in my opinion, he's a fantastic pinger of crosses and you had Ibusuki on there. What, what was the reasoning to swap him for Adashi? For Panache? Because um, we wanted to get him behind them a bit more and use Panache's speed. Um, and I worked a couple of times and we nearly got one or three goals from that. Um, so that's all it was. Um, a bit more speed to um, overlap because we knew that they would... Um, when Nesta comes on, they, they would um, look to double team him and move Nesta in a little inside a little bit more and allow Panache to get in behind them. Carl, obviously the, the performance you said tonight you were having, particularly with the second half, much better than last week. But did you feel like after last week a loss may have been coming? I mean, the, earlier in the season, a game like tonight, you probably would have had, like you said, three or four. Do you think maybe it was just you know the universe is telling you <laughs> it's time yeah, look, and it, it, reset? Yeah, football is. Is, has its ups and downs, and you know sometimes you win when you shouldn't win, and and you lose games when you should win them. Um, but you know we still created some excellent opportunities tonight. You know they had a couple opportunities on the break, um, but I thought we dealt with that. Um, and it was just one of those nights. You know it wasn't going to go in the net for us. So, um, but we kept trying. That's the pleasing thing. We kept pushing. Um, you know. On another night, as I said, the ball would have hit the post and gone in, or, you know, so can't fault the players, you know, they gave everything they, they, they could, and it's just one of those nights. Um, obviously, uh, as you mentioned earlier, um, the changes that, that you had to, um, you know, for the injuries and the players coming off, the performances of those players coming in, young guy, Johnny, you obviously your, your thoughts on his game, given a, a longer run than, than normal? Yeah, look, Johnny is, you know, he's been involved with us for a long time now and he's got definitely got um, the ability to play at, at a very high level. Um, he's taken a little bit of time this year, you know, he had the stress fracture in his back early in the season, um, which took a long time for him to recover from. And, um, you know, he's managed, he's been able to get some consistent minutes in the NPL, which has got him back up to a level that he needs to be at to play at this level. And uh, disappointed to concede at any time, but perhaps the timing tonight we had a chance earlier on. Um, I think in a minute later, Western have gone down and, and scored. Yeah, it's it's uh, you know part of football, isn't it? You know, I think um, you know I, I could say here yeah, if we'd scored first, we would have won easily, but that's what happens in the game. And um, they took their opportunity, and we didn't take ours. So um, you know, we could have done some things a, a little bit better or a little bit differently. But at the end of the day. Um, you know, we'll have a look where we could have done those things a little bit better and, you know, move on to next week and, um, you know, as I say, we didn't play poorly. 
So um, that's a, pl a pleasing thing. So, you know, nine times out of ten, we would have won that game tonight. So it's just one of those things. Was um, Issa starting on the bench just a precaution? And then on top of that, was Ibasuki or Ivanovic over Ibasuki, was that a tactical thing or was, was Roshi uh, carrying something? Yeah, look, Hiroshi's been carrying an injury for a couple of weeks um, and this has just come back for, for one, so it's just more protection um, than anything, um, you know, that's, and they've both, you know, got through and they're both um, very good in the second half for us, you know, provide a lot of drive for us in the second half, so, um, you know, I'm not too disappointed, you know, we'll move on. Do you see um, Johnny as being a starting, as one of those number eights starting long term? Um, yeah, that's our goal to be, um, for him to be a starting player in, in this team. Um, he's definitely got the quality um, and we'll give him the time to play. You know, I don't know how, how many shots he had tonight. He must have had five or six shots. He didn't hit the target with one of them, but um, that's something, um, you know, he'll go away from tonight and um, should be happy with his general performance and, and there's a few areas that he needs to improve on. Is it tough because, I mean, you on such a great run and then I mean, your first defeat is one that actually loses the was the chance for the premiership. So, I guess when you're kind of talking to the players about it, it's it's hard because they've lost that chance. But at the same time, it's it's the first defeat, and you know, God knows yeah, how. yeah, you know, we we know um, that there's you know two games left, um, and you know this year it's I suppose um, we need to have the good form still going into finals. You don't want to limp over the line into the final series so it's important that you know tonight's performance was was you know fairly good it wasn't you know excellent performance but it was fairly good and you know we'll take that form again into the next week against Perth. I know you've got the Mariners I guess kind of on your heels now and then still got to play them as well. Oh, look, so. we, you know we still um, have a gap between the teams that are chasing us so you know you always say it's, it's better to have the points on the board than they're not so um, you know we've got them there and we've worked hard to get them um, and the boys aren't going to give up and um, they played you quite differently to other teams they're a very direct team especially with Priovic up there how do you feel your team dealt with that and do you feel like this is something a point of concern of a way to play against you in coming weeks no not at all every team has you know will pick out weaknesses and strengths of the opposition that they're playing against um, and we knew that um, they would play a little bit direct to Priovic because that's what they, how they've played, you know, since he, when he plays for them. So um, and I, thought, I thought the, the two centre backs uh, dealt with him quite well tonight. Um, you know, it's just, uh, I suppose uh, uh, we could have defended the goal better, but that's, you know, we will always say that about every goal we, we concede. But, um, you know, generally, you know, we didn't give them too many opportunities to, to, to have it our goal. Mm -hmm. An undefeated streak now ends at 12 games. Do you feel like, obviously disappointed by it, but do you feel like it's something that may drive you on in coming weeks to rediscover that spark of a couple of weeks ago? Yeah, as I said, you know, football's up and has you up and downs, and you want to you go out and you want to win every week. You know, I'm I'm the same as all the players. We want to win every week, and we we couldn't manage it tonight, but we'll go out next week and you know give the same effort that we did tonight and. And hopefully the things go our way and we get the three points. Mm -hmm. And just finally, it's a real awkward one when you feel like you said you could have won the game, but you end up leaving with nothing. What message do you give the players after a game like that? Yeah, it's just you keep their heads up, keep working. You know, as I said they they did everything they possibly could tonight, um, and the ball just wouldn't go in. That's what happens sometimes in this game. Um, but you know, I, I think the performance was was good enough. Um, and we'll just, um, you know, recover and, and get ourselves ready for, for next week. Did you get a second look at the penalty shot at the end, or? No, I haven't, no. It's, you know, it is what it is. Yeah.